This is a mechanically articulated dynamic underlying kinesthesia mech, or as I like to call it, Marduk Phase 2. You can see Phase 1 uh, right here, which was just a simple mechanical uh, structural proof of concept. Now you're probably wondering why I wasn't driving this thing all over the place. It isn't because the engine isn't powerful enough. I'll talk about that in a moment. But the fact that the front wheels, there's nothing holding them into place on the axle, so they do whatever they want. And it caused the mech to be very wobbly, and I wasn't comfortable going too far in it. So I just need to get some nuts to put on the axles, and it should be all set to go. The arms use a system similar to the Skeletronics uh, mechanical arm system, but instead of a crazy daisy chain of le levers and stuff, I opted for a much simpler method, so I don't have to worry so much about precision engineering with the arms, I can just throw it all together. As you can see, this mech is powered by a snowblower engine. This is a different engine than the stock one because I accidentally threw a rod on it last year and I had to go the entire winter shoveling the driveway. It's very long. But got a new one from Harbor Freight, popped it on, works wonders. 212cc, it's less powerful than the stock but Considering it can schlep this thing around, it can blow snow. Now the engine isn't controlled by anything in the cockpit as of yet. So far, it's just this one bit of webbing that runs up to the cockpit, so when you pull on it, it engages the clutch on the snowblower transmission, moving it to whatever I set it to. In the video, I had it accidentally set to reverse, the classical, oh, I had the silly thing in reverse. <laughs> As you can see, I got some boxing gloves on the end, so you can do some bashing, like the Skeletron, no, not... As you can see, I got boxing gloves on the end, because the idea is to have a sort of mech fight, like the Megabots Kratos fight, but since this thing is much cheaper, we can actually bash them up. Or, there's another option. You could use these to make a giant robot laser tag arena. Hmm, wouldn't that be fun? Driving around shooting your friends with lasers and your giant robot. That's a little ways away though. I'm gonna start a go fund me soon. One of these days I am going to be making that head out of metal. So far it's just a cardboard mock-up. But you know, I'll stick a Raspberry Pi cam in there. That way I can see what's going on from the safety of the cockpit. Which you can see is messy. <laughs> But 
This is a Marduk Phase 2. The first test drive was successful. I'm probably going to have a beer or something to celebrate. So, if you like what you see, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hey, if you really like what I do, donate to me on Patreon or get some merch. There are links in the description below. So, all you people out in YouTube land, have a good one.